Oh, no. The weather outside is anything but frightful, but a fire would still be delightful this chilly Christmas Eve morning in many cities across the U.S. And if flurries count, some folks may get their wish for a white Christmas this year. We'll have the complete holiday forecast next on Weatherscope. For a scope of coverage you won't find anywhere else, this is Weatherscope This Morning. There's a nip in the air and even some snow flurries to report this Christmas Eve morning. Hello, I'm Marnie Spanier. And again, a happy holiday. Bill Keneally with you as well. We continue to wish for a white Christmas, but may not come true in some areas, especially in the Piedmont area. It's cold, though, I tell you what, Very Marnie. Cold. Oh. cold air, a little thin ice on some of the ponds in the Atlanta area. How about in Boston, though? You want winter? We've got it. It's uh, looking like the tundra up there. A lot of snow cover. This guy, he's out there, and everybody again being very uh, friendly and very joyous this holiday season. The weather, pretty cooperative for that mood. Temperature is in the mid-30s right now in Boston. How about in California? Oh boy, I gotta try that one again. Coyamaca Park, that's out there in the southern part of California. We've had upwards of a foot of snowfall here. Last 24 to 36 hours, still some snow. And Marnie told me the parks of I-5 had been shut, but we believe now that they are open up around the uh, areas near the grapevine. So use caution up towards Gorman still, but I think the weather will be cooperative today. We have a little window of drier air coming on in. Still a little snow from yesterday's rain and snow in California. Now that snow is in the rim country of Arizona, and there's still some more low pressure lurking offshore. And on the radar, you can see a little bit of rainfall. Not too far off the coast of Santa Barbara at this hour. So Santa Barbara and Point Magoo, and on over towards the uh, Highway 101. You may see a few showers